In this video, we will show you how to use SkyCut optional laser part. Firstly, please make sure the cutter with laser function firmware. On cutter menu, press Moto Set. You will see this menu. The menu on the left lets the firmware without laser function. And the menu on the right is the firmware with laser function. We need to update the laser version firmware. We will show you how to update in another video. It's super easy. This is our optional laser part. Now let's put laser part on cutter. Open top cover and hang it on carriage cover. And then plug in the socket. That's all. So it's very easy to put the laser part on. Now let's power on the cutter to engrave. We touch Moto Set. We can see the menu. Here, if we use laser only, we choose use laser. When we use blade only, we choose use cut. And we can choose use laser cut to use both blade and laser, just like dual heads. Now let's choose use laser to engrave. Let's note the material. We press LS on. Here we can see a laser point. It's a very soft light. Then we can turn the black wheel here to adjust the laser focus. Adjust it until we get the smallest light spot. And then we touch set to adjust the speed and power. When we use laser, FS means power adjustment. After we set power and speed, press test cart. Let's check the result. It's good. Then we turn on laser light to move to start point. Next, let's send data from software to start engrave. Firstly, let's set connecting method. SkyCut Cutter has many connecting methods. Let's use Wi-Fi to connect. Choose Windows port and TCP and input IP address here. Now, let's tap SkyCut here. And send to cutter. Here should be attention. Don't choose blade offset. And then click cut long. Now the cutter is engraving. You can freely adjust the speed when it is engraving. The laser part is optional. You can buy it from SkyCut agent.